Hello and welcome to this video for ElectroPages. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. Today we are here at Electronica 2024 in Munich and it's been an absolutely fantastic event. And I am at the Renaissance stand and I'm joined by Swami. And thank you for ever so much for having us nice here today. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, before we jump into all the things you're going to show us, just start by telling the audience who you are, what you do, and what you like to do in your free time. Free time? Okay, that's a tough question. That's a hard question. <laughs> Engineering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm Swami. I'm a system application engineer with Renesas. And in my free time, I have a four-year-old daughter. Yeah. No free time. So, so. so it's 100% okay. There it's is it's no free time. Childcare is your free time. Yeah, that's yeah, that. yeah. I'm quite great. Now I'm looking Doing forward. puzzles, yeah. playing child's yeah. game, yeah. pretend game, but, uh, <laughs> whatever you say. Yep, yeah, but she's the love of your life. So exactly. It is what it is. It is what it is. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So okay. take us through some of the things that you guys are showing off today and what's going on. So what we have here is the XN1 system from Renesas. Yep. And uh, what we mean by XN1 is like multiple systems integrated into one. Right. So typically in an EV what you see, you have onboard charger, you have battery management, you have a high voltage to low voltage yep. DC-DC, you have the traction inverter, you have PTC, you have PDU, and you have an MCU and PMIC or the power management IC for each particular application. So this means more number of components, more cost, and people will not like it. So we want to integrate all of them into a single MCU and a single PDU. So basically, oh. what we do, what we show here is an eight-in-one system. So the X wow. is replaced by eight. So we have via motor, inverter, onboard charger, DC-DC converter, power distribution, your heater, your BMS, all controlled by one Renaissance MCU powerful MCU, U2B6, and Renesas PMIC. And the complete system is built with Renesas products. So Renesas provides power modules, gate drivers, oh, blimey, look at power that. modules, gate drivers, the MCU and the PMIC. And yeah, so the inverter, what we have is like, uh, we can support 400 volts and 800 volts battery application. So we have IGBT and silicon carbide power modules. We have the gate drivers for them. And on the OBC, we have silicon carbide OBC, the PFC stage. We have a bi-directional onboard charger design. That means you can charge your car, and when it's fully charged, you can also supply some back to the grid. Same, some more cost. <laughs> now, my, my quick question here is, yes. is the focus of the product specifically the MCU, or is it the entire module? The as entire a, as a thing. So we provide this, not only the products, the power products, the, the GDUs, the switches, the modules, the yep. MCU and payment, but we are also offering this as a system solution. Yeah. So the customers can buy this as a complete kit, uh, and complete straight turnkey solution. Like this take one here. This, yeah, exactly. You take this, you modify it for your requirements, yep. for your customers, and then it will work. And we provide support for modifying our solution to fit your application needs customer's application needs. Yeah. So, yeah. So, my, so, more, so one thing that sort of comes to my mind here is that by combining everything like this with one MCU, you're reducing the, the total number of components. And by doing that, you're improving the reliability. Because this, well, in the sense that you've got less failure points that could potentially go wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing I think I heard you mention, you mentioned water cooling. Did you mention cooling. water? Did you, did you mention, I think I saw, what, so what's yes, going on yes, here? Yes. So, so basically, like, what we are doing here is like, we are reducing the number of parts. Yeah. Okay, so that is one thing, we are lower cost. Yeah. And then further, what we are also doing is, we have all of them integrated into a single kit. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Typically what you have in your car, your onboard charger is in the front. At the front. Your inverter is in the rear, driving yeah. your motors. Yeah. Your battery pack is on the floor. Yeah. And what you would do, you would run cables from your battery yeah. pack to the onboard charger, to your inverter, yeah. thicker cables, so very high wiring harness, more weight. Yeah. But when you have everything in a single box, it's sure, yeah. reduced weight, and you have only one set of cables running from your battery to the kit here. And, and I'm guessing that the total cable length is reduced, which Very reduces reduce. losses, exactly. also reduces interference and issues like that. I imagine it's a big issue as well. Exactly. And so, also, all this, the, the, the cooling functionality is all shared. Yeah. So we have a liquid cool system. Mm -hmm. So the inverter, OBC, DC, DC, all are cooled by the same cooling system here. And in this case, it looks like, that, as a demonstration, you're sort of mounting it on top of like what looks like, is this is the transmission or the... 
which, which section is this, 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 this body so here? So this is the motor. Yeah. The motor and the reduction gear and uh, everything is inside. And, 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 and a question I do actually have about motors, because I am completely ignorant when it comes to automotive, it comes to automotive motors. Do they often use water cooling or, or some kind of cooling mechanism? Because I imagine that when they operate, they are going to get warm. Yes. So, and, so, and so is that something that you could combine the two together? So they're actually about shared cooling? Uh, to be honest, like Renesas doesn't provide the motor. So yeah. we are providing the electronics oh, and the I, system. I, I, I got it. So I this got is it, yeah. from the, uh, let's say, the customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so, this so, motor is from the deck. Yeah. And um, we are only supporting the control part. Yeah. And so, and so would this be, would you have one of these on top of every motor? Or do you think, would it just be like one centralized system? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Uh, uh, so would you have one of these on top of every motor or would it be kind of like uh, one centralized system that so goes the, out to the rest the, of it? The, the inverter supports one motor. We also have a design for dual motor design. Yeah. So dual motor support. So we yeah. can also control that. Yeah. Uh, but this kit shows only a single motor control. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, so, so in order to make this work, you've had to combine all of the, those features into one chip. All the controls Spe specifically, into, specifically yeah. the, 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 all the control into one chip. Yes. So, what kind of specs do we have in this chip that, that allow it to do this? What, how many? What kind of cores, peripherals? What are we? What are we looking at? So we. Uh, so this is a multi-core processor, basically. Yeah. And if I go into the. By the way, I'm guessing it's that one right there. Yes. This yeah. one. So this is a multi-core processor. Yeah. We have three cores, and we on one core. We implement the traction inverter and onboard charger control. Yep. They are mutually exclusive. Nobody is going to drive the car when connected to the outlet. No, no. I hope not. No. We, we still have brains to do not yep. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so that is mutually exclusive. So yep. they share the same core and yep. only one functionality runs at a time. And the DCDC -DC runs on a separate core. And the rest of the PDU, PDC and all the other functions are implemented on a different core. So the two cores are lockstep cores. That means you have one main core and there is one checker core. Yeah. So we support ACLD's uh, safety level. There. Yeah. And, and, and do you also have like safety island as well to make sure that if one function sort of goes haywire, the other functions aren't affected? Yes. So they are uh, they are implemented in a software framework that yeah. such that like they are not interfered when they are running together. Yeah. So we have separate software framework for that. Fantastic. And is it? And, and, and I know you guys provide the whole solution, but is it also possible for customers to, to, to just sort of like take the chip itself if they want it for their own sort of design? Yes. Board? Yes. So it's like not uh, we are selling this as a complete uh, system. It, it, it's like we, they, the customer can pick yeah. and choose. Yeah. So if they only want, let's say, the hardware design, let's say the PCB design part, yeah. I just want the PCB design. I know how to implement my traction inverter. We are fine with that. We provide yeah. that. Yeah. Let's say if someone has already uh, hardware and yeah. they want to have some software, yeah. we need some support in software. We provide only the yeah. software for that. Yeah. So it's very flexible how yeah. they can, what they can choose and what they can buy from them. And one thing I have noticed, which is quite interesting, and I, I, I think it would, I, I don't know if I'm right to say this, but I, I kind of feel that Renaissance is a bit different in this way, where a lot of other microcontroller and sort of like semiconductor companies, they don't tend to go to this extreme when trying to provide a solution for a customer. Like, exactly. usually what you tend to see is, we provide you with a controller chip, we'll give you a reference design, we're not gonna give you the whole thing, but it looks like you are basically saying, look, you can either go for the entire thing as demonstrated here, or we'll just give you that. No, so we, you are right. Most of the, the, uh, the, the, the let's say, the semiconductor providers stop yeah. at the component level. Yeah, yeah. At most, they go with the uh, device drivers, but yeah. not far, far from that. We want to ensure end-to-end -end support to the customer, yeah. so we we not only provide devices, but we also support them on how to use our devices to build a yeah. system, and we provide reference design. So this is also a reference design, so this is not a production uh, version, so you cannot put this directly no, no, in no, the no. car it's, right it's now. A, it's a demonstration and, uh, of what it could do. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And, and, and what you're showing here is how you guys have developed modules that you could put in, exactly. or you could choose, I just want this part, I only want yeah. these silicon carbide, I don't know, yeah. drivers, whatever. And then, yeah. But the point, the purpose of this is that you, you are showing how you can take, I don't know, 10 different controllers, move them onto one chip. Exactly. And then by, and then by doing that, you can increase reliability, safety. Uh, use the cost. It, it, most importantly, yes. reduce <laughs> cost because these chips, any, any automotive part is not cheap. Yes. You know, you do, if you have eight automotive so grade controllers. In automotive, if you save one cent, it's one cent. <laughs> 
Yeah, it is, yes. it's big. So it, it's big. It, it is big. So yeah. it, 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 if you can put it all into that, it's massive. And plus, you've got the scale of production as well. So yes, exactly. So, um, so if we, let's say, like let, let's let's say, like an engineer uh, is looking to develop develop their own sort of board. So I take it you've got application nodes, integration nodes, all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we have like detailed design documentation for how yeah. do you uh, implement or how do you use our products and the system. Yeah. And we also extend the support in like let's say if if a customer buys this product and wants to test it in his lab, yeah. we provide enough support, like we can ensure yeah. that yeah it works perfectly and also if you have to modify it, yeah. we help in modifying it. So it's an end to end system yeah. solution basically. You know, you know the funny thing is normally when I do these videos, people tend to show very hyper like hyper specific kind of products. So you can talk a lot about it. But to be fair, it seems like that, that, that uh, the solution you develop, develop is quite greedy. It's just sort of gone, I'll just do everything. It's just <laughs> taking everything and gone, right, I'll just do it all. So yeah. you go, okay, it does everything. End of story, thank you very much. Bye bye, sort of thing. It just does everything. So so when you were showing me those reference designs and then the modules designs, do you also integrate like the silicon carbide, the the, 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 yes. the, the driving and all that as well? Yes. So this this module is with silicon carbide and yep. uh, the one we have implemented one uh, inside is yep. based on IGBT. Yep. So we have a solution. Uh, yeah. So we have. 750 volts IGBT, 1200 ah. volts IGBT. Are, are these gate drivers by any Yes, these are ah, gate I drivers. I see, yes. Yeah. And we have 1200 volts silicon carbide modules. Yeah. So this is for 400 volts batteries and this is for 800 volt battery applications. And, and again, what's nice about this diagram is you're showing how the, Ren the Renaissance sort of family is, is providing chips in every part of this design. Exactly. But the most important thing, just one controller. Yeah. One controller, maximize the BOM, reduce yeah. the con uh, components. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. the, the controller actually implements the battery management algorithms. You, you can you can actually. Oh, I see. So things like yeah. charging. So it can yeah, it yeah. can uh, it can uh, it implements the SOC estimation, SOH estimation. Yeah. We have software and we have the uh, the algorithms yeah. to estimate SOC, SOH, and manage the battery pack. But yeah. the battery devices, I'm. We, yeah. uh, I'm not marketing that right now. No, but, but but the point is, like I said, it's all in one chip. You've got the whole family to sort it all out. Yes. Reduces cost. In my opinion, reduces uh, increases reliability because you've reduced the number of points that can go wrong. Exactly. Move it onto one chip, and it's, uh, it's actually it's probably simple simple to design as well. Right. Because you've got less things jumping around. You haven't got cables going all over the place trying to communicate. Lower wiring harness, so lower yeah. uh, chances of fault. So obviously this is just like a test setup to show how it could work, yes. how it could be used. So could you just go through what's going to happen when you show us yeah. when it runs? So we have the uh, the motor here, the traction motor, a real EV motor, this is a 400 volt motor. And we have the XN1 box that integrates the traction inverter, onboard charger, DC DC converter that we just saw in a single kit. And uh, to, to just show right now, we have it, we have it in the charge mode. So the power draws from the, uh, the outlet, the OBC is working now, and it charges the high voltage battery and your low voltage battery. And now when I switch it to the drive mode, the power is from the high voltage battery flowing into your low, charging your low voltage battery and also your traction motor. And if I press the pedal, the motor starts to rotate. And yeah, the LED kind of depicts how much power you're drawing or how fast you're drawing power from the battery. Yeah. So nice. in, in this system we also have the power distribution unit where we also monitor the contactor drivers. Yeah. So the, the contactor is here and there is a contactor driver inside and we can uh, we can sense the uh, the effectiveness of the contactor like whether it's healthy or the contacts are welded yeah. so what you see here is the contactor driver current waveform so you have the uh, the normal uh, on phase and then this is the pickup phase and this is the old phase and so the contactor driver to know whether the contactor is welded or it's working properly it will sense this wave current waveform so if you see the dip here, this is a bit lower, and when we when we inject a certain error, the waveform changes. Mm. So there is the, the 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 dip of the current here. It's a bit low. Yeah. So that means the contacts are welded. So yeah. it it kind of signals the MCU to uh, to know the status. And so by doing that, you've got safety integrated into one microcontroller right at the center, which is doing the controlling part of things. Exactly. 
And by doing that, you can integrate all these safety features into one place. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So before we wrap up this video, I've got mm -hmm. one more question for you. For the audience who are watching this video, if they want to get involved with Renaissance Solutions and the stuff that you've been showing today, what would you recommend that they do? Approach us. We can uh, we can have a detailed discussion, like how we can support you in yep. every desa, every system design. So yep. we have the products for uh, covering all the parts of the electric vehicle. We have yep. the power modules, the gate drivers, yep. the MCUs, PMEX, and we have also reference designs and system software, yep. application software. So we can support in all aspects of system design.